Happy endings like the one we saw in Cleveland don't happen often in cases of missing people. But luckily, it does happen sometimes. And tonight, a woman kidnapped in Pittsburgh and then rescued in Herndon, Virginia, shared her story of survival with Steve Chenevy. Steve? Yeah, a lot of people might remember this story from back in 2002. I covered it back in Pittsburgh then when the victim came back home from Northern Virginia. And today, I had a chance to talk with her again as she opened up about the pain she endured years ago and how she thinks the women in Cleveland will heal now that they've been rescued. 11 years after she was abducted, tortured, and held captive in what police described as a dungeon in a Herndon, Virginia townhome, Alicia Kozakevich still can't shake the horrible memories. I knew my parents would look for me, but there I was in hell. How could they find me? She was just 13 years old when she was taken from her Pittsburgh home and driven to Northern Virginia. She had no idea where she was. Her only thought was that she was going to die. At one point when he had said, I'm beginning to like you too much tonight, we're going to go for a ride. I knew it was game over and I decided I was going to fight and do whatever I could do to get away and accepted that that probably wasn't going to work. When FBI agents showed up to rescue her a few days later, she thought they were men that her abductor Scott Tyree sent to kill her. Kozakevich now counsels other survivors and families who have missing loved ones. She was doing that when the news broke that the girls in Cleveland were still alive. It was so amazing to watch these parents, their faces lit up because it was their hope that could be their child. Alicia's face lit up too, but as a survivor, she knows for these women, the exuberance of newfound freedom will wear off soon. They've been hurt. And when you've been hurt, it's okay to hurt. To have nightmares and flashbacks, that's understandable. It's a moment of weakness, but it doesn't mean that you are weak. Alicia's hope is that much like herself with her public speaking, these women will eventually find a purpose to outweigh the pain they've endured. I wish I could hug them and tell them that I'm here for them and that people are here to support them. And she says that support is necessary. Alicia still occasionally does have nightmares and suffers from PTSD. Her advice to the newly freed Cleveland women is to surround themselves with loved ones. And her advice for families with missing loved ones is to never give up hope. Leon.